Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News for AK once again, Mr. Man, we're bringing you guys the rest of the Natural Sword channel. Follow me the hashtags and AOL symbols down below. Anyways, my friends, I know this is going to be pretty short, sweet to the point video. Pretty sure of it, in my personal opinion. But anyways, guys. Yeah, anyways, guys. Matt. It's been a very long, long time. I think I ever talked about this chick one time ever on my channel. Same with the other one. I'll get to that probably the same day you guys are watching. It's either Sunday or Tuesday. I'm definitely not having no videos up Monday because um, it's my birthday. Me and my roommates are going to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> my God, I lived literally like one quarter and a half of my life at almost 35 years old. It's insane. 34-year-old man right now, so probably one last few videos you hear and see me as a 34-year-old man. It's pretty wild. <laughs> I've been doing YouTube for so long, almost 16 years. For 17 years of my old, old channel. 16 years, I think, here. 15 or 16. Anyways, yeah, there's that. <laughs> and um, before I begin, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of venting. This has nothing to do with my girl Jenna Marbles right now, so the first five or six minutes you could skip. This one was pretty fucking sad here, honestly, dudes. Honestly. Amazon lays off 500 and Switch employees and hundreds more. NGM Grant and Prime Video. Twitch reportedly still unprofitable, paid over $1 billion to streamers of last year, 2023. It's from John Brooklyn. I got to correct because he's there. This is the thing. It's kind of like a little bit of an update. I'm going to be venting and ranting for a little bit. So if you just want to skip to that part, I'll leave the link to the duration point, the time span there. I missed a lot of this shit here, bro. A lot of this stuff here, honestly, bro, I would love nothing more. N nothing, anything more to like go back to watch an old reaction because I watched one about two days ago. By the time you guys watch, it's like, Four, three or four days ago, I don't know. I, if any of you guys are my old subscribers, you might maybe, maybe first 300 or 400 subscribers, you probably guys probably remember when I used to do reaction videos before I used that like technology set like Mobizen or Mobizen or AZ recorder on my smartphone. Before I figured out how to do reactions to put the screen and my face at the same time, way before that, because I didn't even figure it out until about in 2018 or tw early 2019, one of those two years. Not that long ago. I mean, YouTube years, that's a long time ago. But IRL, real life, physically, not that long ago. I remember these dudes from way back in the day, man. I think they were, like, connected. I'm not sure if they were connected or not to Death Battle, a.k.a. back then they were called Screw Attack. Bro, I would love to go back to doing reactions to these, bro. Just as, like, a golden oldies thing I'm doing. it. Because I know you got nowadays with fools like this, like, Flash Gets or this one right here, Meat Canyon. I mean, I'm not saying that their shit's bad. I haven't, it's been almost a year and a half since I reacted to anything Meat Canyon related. Last year, 2023, I didn't even react to anything Meat Canyon related. But the year before, I know I did, 2022. I think the first time I heard about dudes when the whole global lockdowns and the, you know what, they call it the Panini. It's not really the Panini, it's something else. You guys know what I'm trying to allure to. I can't even say the alphabet letter, letter names of it because it's how powerful they are, but I know they're connected to either Epoch Times or WFC, the economic form and all that. And uh, Frouchy and Akauchi, <laughs> Anthony, you know who. Um, in my personal opinion, they're like, they got an antichrist, devil, satanic spirit, demonic, evil, evil demon spirits in those people. In my personal opinion, I could be wrong, but my personal gut feeling tells me it's right. I feel like I'm right. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. I'm not saying fools like this, me can I heard about almost two or three weeks ago. I know it's, it's like real old news now, but it happened earlier this year. He's going to be taking a break off YouTube, which kind of sucks. So maybe I might go back to see any of the shit he did last year. I watched a few, like two of these on my own. The Chester Cheetah one I remember watching, and then the XQC one. And like I said before, I'll say it again. I don't want to do anything XQC related on the freaking <laughs> channel anymore. And this dude, he's living on top of a freaking globe, man. Oh, even this other food, like this other dude, like Mudahar and um, some of the sporting gamers and um, Moist Critical, Upaville, he did a reaction to it. Wow. I didn't know that. Upaville, Apaville. Oh, he did one of this too? <laughs> oh, I missed those two. That was funny. Oh, I saw the thumbnail for this, but I never got a chance to watch it. But yeah, I want to go back to old stuff like that, man. I really do. Like Hyper Gange and all that. I know there's flash kits, like I said before, I'll say it again, there was flash kits, and then there was fucking, what's it called? Me Canyon, they do their animations, but 
A lot of them are real crazy and freaky and disturbing. I miss the shit that they had the old school fantasy fight versus this person versus that one. Like the Mugen stuff. And shout out to my dude right here, even though I rarely ever get shout outs anymore. I'll just give two shout outs real quick besides this dude, Mugen Lord. And he came from that old school community. He knows what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, he's making his own comic book magazine internet thing. I, I wish the best of luck to him because I think he said he spent twenty, thirty thousand dollars almost out of his own pocket money. After grinding and hustling all his IRL life. That's crazy, man. Shout out big us to him, man. I have nothing but positive things to say about the dude. Anyways. Besides that, yeah, there's two other ones I want to give quick mini shout outs to. Um shout outs to another one, Cartier. Cartier or Cartier Carter family. And then another one, Violi. I know they both do completely different content. One of them's like this young college kid. They give me old school Omni, Tyro Magnus, Insane Game Freak. A lot of I think in the black community, especially in YouTube, these dudes are really, really good. Carter family or Cartier family? Let's see if I can look them up real quick. Hold on. Give me a quick sec. All right, so I know it looks like social, political, socioeconomical stuff, but some of the stuff that they react to is really good. Even music video shit. And a little bit of like um animation. I think they reacted to like one or two Flash Goods and Beat Canyon's videos as well. A lot of super trending stuff. Some of it, I know like 60, 70%, maybe 80% at the most. Uh, 60 to 80%. It's a lot more of today geared towards African-American and black community, especially a lot more in the United States and Canada. Way more than anywhere else in the world. But man, they, these dudes give me so much Desmond, Etika, and Omni, and freaking Tyro Magnus energy, man. They really do. Even though they look like they're talking a lot about politics, it's not just about politics they react to. They react to a whole bunch of other good stuff too, so shout outs to them. Anyways, let's get to the real story. I know this is like two weeks old now, but I don't care. What happened to Jenna Marbles, controversies, leaving YouTube and more? Out of credit, credit is due. It was from um, Alice Sojenberg. It was another one I was wanted to talk about, I show speed and the other one, but um, I'm not going to have enough time for that, unfortunately. It was a real good one, too. It had something to do with him and Aiden Ross, but a positive, believe it or not, positive freaking story on Dexterto. 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 Um, Jenna Marbles, Pirate Cat, there we go, let's go, no music in the background today too, posted her last ever video, video on YouTube in 2020, shocking her fans with her retirement announcement, but what is she up to now, here's everything we need to know, Jenna Nicole Moray, Mori, aka better known as Jenna Marbles, was one of the original stars of YouTube with over 20 million subscribers, uh, excuse me, promote for her comedic skits and hilarious videos with her many dogs, Marbles, Racked up a reputation of a well loved as a well loved comedian and was one of the first prominent YouTube celebrities, e celebs. That's what they used to call them, e celebs. God, I feel old as fuck, man. I really do. <laughs> and then again, I'm, by the time you guys see this, I'll be 35, I won't be 34 anymore. So there's that. Um, so however, in 2020, Marvel's at 37 announced that her decision is to step away from social media content creation, yet she's. Yep, post. She's yet to post another video about these three years later. Oh, she hasn't posted anything in a while. That's what I'm going to say. Let's go forward. Whatever happened, whatever happened to her, and why did she leave the internet? Here's everything we need, we know. This is all, take this all with a grain of salt because I don't know any of these people personally. Let's go on. On July, July, June 2020, Marbles uploaded her final video. Oh, dude. I remember that, dude. I might have done a reaction commentary to that one, too. If I remembered it, if I did do it. If I remember, I'll leave the links down below in the bio description. Let's move on. Which has since been deleted, where she informed her subscribers why that she was departing from YouTube. Says it came after old videos of her portraying blackface for first... Oh, yeah, that's what that was going on, yeah. Can't even say anything on that. On such video was posted in 2011 where Marvel was imitating... It imitated Nicki Minaj. I forgot about all that. That's true. She did do that. But it was a different time, man. 2007 and like 2011, 2012. Yeah, there was some R word, a little bit of bigoted and real super edgy humor at that time. But that's how the planet and the world was in real life sometimes. Especially a lot of some European countries in the United States and Canada was like that. And maybe parts of Australia. Who knows? Let's move forward. Jenna was also involved in other instances and controversies, such as her appearance in a 2011 music video where she seemingly contributed to R-word lyrics against Asians with her vocals. 
There were also other clips of her when she made offensive remarks, downplayed other women, and emerged in questionable behavior. In a now-deleted apology video, Jenna Marbles addressed the accusation. She says, Dude, quote, Oh, I remember all this, too. This is those, That came from her horse's mom. And do not want to tell you how unbelievably sorry I am if I ever offended you by posting this video or by doing this impression and that this was never my intention, unquote. It also goes on to say, Today her social media accounts, or excuse me, accounts, remain largely inactive and little is known about her current endeavors. However, it is a significant announcement regarding her personal life did surface in April 2021. Oh, wow. It's almost a year later after it happened. Fans of Jenna Marbles received the first update about her life in nearly a year. <laughs> During a live stream on Twitch, Marbles partner Julian Solamita, Solamita or Solamata announced that the couple had gotten engaged. On December 22nd, Julian took to Instagram revealing that they have gotten married after nine years together, also, they, she did like a PewDiePie move there. A.K. Felix Kallenberg. Kallenberg, however you say it. Sorry, I'm not Finnish or Dutch or Swedish or Switzerland. I was a born and raised out there. I'm not a pronunciation of European words like that. Unless it was like British or something or Scottish or Irish, whatever. Let's get, get to it again. In January 2023, Julian received to fans that he... His and Julian's home have been broken into by a woman after three months of harassment. What? Is that real or fake? No fucking way. I got it. Once again, takes five or seven grains of salt in this bitch because I don't know if this is true. Accusations are real or fake. I don't know. Julian published the statement on her subject to his Instagram stories that day, quote, saying, claiming that the intruder had been stalking, harassing her as wife for, quote, months, unquote. Luckily. He was able to apprehend the stranger with pepper spray and locked her out of the home until the law enforcement arrived. Good. I'm glad she did. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, this was from January 3rd earlier. Yep. Jarna Marble's home was broken into by stalkers. Oh, my God. I didn't even know any of this other shit. Wow. Oh, he still looks the same, too. Jenna's still looking the same, bro. December 2022. Almost 2023. This is like a year and three months almost, man. Oh, she still looks... Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I thought she was in and speculations now. She still looks cute and beautiful and smexy and sexy and hot and gorgeous as hell. She was one of those chicks back in the day. She was funny, but she wasn't just funny and comedic. She had that really old-school hot sex appeal, like beautiful attractiveness to her. And this is what back then I wasn't really crazy about blonde hair, blue eye, blonde hair, green eye girls. And pretty much I was... Honestly, a bigot in the R word to like a lot of white girls that were in that stereotype. Unfortunately, I never gave a lot of them a chance. Anyways, I mainly stuck to either women of my race, spend Latina chicks, and sometimes the Asian Filipino women, and that was it. <laughs> That's pretty much fucking it. But getting back to Jenna Marbles, I'm like, my God, she hasn't changed that much at all. She still looks the same, bro. I mean, I know she's before she made her makeup and all that, and I guess her cosmetics and all that other shit. Maybe that's why in this one she looks really, really beautiful and really attractive and pretty as hell there. So this dude, Julian, you, you, you freaking, you bagged a dime piece. You got to protect this woman with your life. If I was her husband, like you are, Julian, protect the hell out of this woman. Definitely needs protection, especially after that whole pepper spray, something breaking in their house and sudden, some real scary murderous incident almost happened like that. You really got to be extra on guard in that bitch. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for now. Minor. Peace out, dudes. Goodbye. Super flip side. Tech cutting down for short. Peace out, dudes. Goodbye. See you guys on the super flip side. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'm on them out. Don't take it in a job and a weeb or a night mantle bus, micro bread transaction or any of that shit. And in the just and take it in the, the, the schemes. And that's it. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Thank you, Jenna Marbles, for entertaining your fans for so many years. Goodbye. I'm out of here. See you guys next time. Stay safe.